it's, it's always been my dream. It's always something that I've wanted to do. When I say I want a free flyer, they look at me like I'm crazy. Like, what, aren't you afraid she's not gonna come back? Like, she's gonna fly away. And I don't know, I feel like it's worth taking the chance. I feel like the benefit of it is so much greater than, I mean, I have Jamie and Dave, who are two of the best trainers in the world. and. They know what they're doing. They, you know, they're great. They coach you through it. They, you know, step by step. And I don't know. I just feel like the reward is just so much greater than the actual chance. We've been working with Jamie and Dave for a couple months now, and our biggest problem is that she's scared of everything. She spooks very easily. So when she's in her comfort zone and it's just me and her, the skills are there, her recall's great, but when we're somewhere unfamiliar, sounds, all kinds of crazy stuff going on, it just goes all out the window because her fear just takes over and she just beelines for wherever she can. She, um, she's been with Jamie and Dave for the week. When Dave first, the first time you came and you filmed, like the camera, she just went crazy. She I was telling Daniel, just with yeah, me. <laughs> he, was just, he, he was just down there, you know, filming her and she seemed pretty chill. Then she spent a week with the Womax. <laughs> <laughs> I always they feel pretty chill after spending a week with the Womax. Everybody can sleep just, after a week with the Womax. Well, and tired. <laughs> and just tired and... With me, of course, she's rotten. Um, she tests her limits. Jamie and Dave said that she's been absolutely great. She's been very, you know, friendly and calm and she's overall, she's a good, she's not aggressive. Um, she's really not loud. I, I don't have any complaints besides her being spooked by everything. That's been my biggest challenge. You know, everything up until this point has been a breeze. Um, the training, it's all came, you know, I have the, you know, to two best trainers in the world you know they were there to walk me through it and everything was great the desensitization that's been the hardest thing she's curious but she she from afar you know she wants to see what it is but she just doesn't want to be anywhere near it so hopefully that changes she's my baby i love everything about her <laughs> Right? Yeah, she was crying. <laughs> Good job, baby. So she flew into the wind, mm -hmm. which is harder. And she realized she was getting far, made a turn, and then the wind pushed her. Okay. And then she realized she could turn sideways and start coming back, and then she just ran out of energy. Cool. How are you feeling about Mia? Um, I mean, I'm disappointed, but I mean, I guess it's it's further than what we were when you came to Maryland. Yeah, these are all steps in the I right mean, direction. I mean, it's only the first day. The difference too is that you're, you're seeing Boomer as a baby. Yeah. We're having to train all this for Mia. Yeah. So what what she did today is totally expected. Yeah. And you could see us like, ah, she's just gonna go. Yeah. So the fact that she came back the first time, she just didn't have the stamina, yeah. that's all good. Yeah. And I mean, just with all the shots in the background and the four wheelers, you know, she didn't take the helicopter off with any flying of that. by. Yeah, she did. So I think that. Boy, cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep in mind, like, don't compare her to Boomer. Yeah. Boomer, it has a much easier journey to this. It's more natural. For her, we have a lot more to work through. 
Now, has she always been flighted or was she clipped at she any point? She was clipped. She was. Yes, yeah, she was clipped. When I first got her, she was clipped. And then, of course, afterwards, I kept her clipped because that was what, what you, you were told. That's, yeah. that's how you keep them safe. You're when supposed you know better, to keep you them better, clipped. You do better, right? Yeah. I love the stories of taking clipped birds and getting them outside. Mm -hmm. So just realize over the next few days, you should see a lot of progress. Don't be surprised if tomorrow she's just beat because physically we yeah. pushed her. Mm -hmm. Then the, the third day, she should have that stamina built back up. Um, they build it back up really quickly and she should be she should be doing really well like she's not spooked out here like she was mm -hmm. we'll get um we'll get everything dialed in and she'll be great yeah keep in mind when we first got out here she was like yeah crazy yeah. and now she's completely relaxed so mm -hmm. your progress looks different yeah We're so much further as far as the desensitization than she was when we first started. I mean, she was sitting there and there was shots being fired in the background. There was a helicopter that went by. There were um, four-wheelers, they went by and I mean, she just kind of sat there and looked and before she would have just completely taken off in panic, so. We don't have the flying progress, but we have the desensitization progress. So, excited about that. Being around Jamie and Dave's birds, um, I think is really great too, just getting to watch them and seeing how they act and what they're doing. Hopefully she's taking notes. <laughs> always love birds. It was, I've always wanted them to call. Um, I started out with smaller birds and me is my first, you know, my first McCall, but I just love everything about them. They're beautiful and I just, just love them and being able to give her the gift of actually, you know, doing what she's designed to do, use her wings and fly, it's it's great. And I, I hope we get there. Being out here, I'm not nervous. Um, when Jamie and Dave were here, I'm not nervous. I was just excited. I was just hoping that that was gonna be the flight where like, wow, you know, it all sinks in, she's got it. I mean, she definitely took off, went past me, but she was trying to make that turn to come back. So that's, that's promising. She just didn't have the stamina, to, you know, to come all the way back. exciting like Happy. it's it's great it's there's no there's no feeling to describe it it's just absolutely amazing good job yes of course yeah, we're excited now yeah. Yeah. Good job. it was amazing today was the best day I think she was the most into it the most did the most flights and today was the best day. I wish we had like two or three more days because I feel like that would make such a difference sucks because it feels like once they get into the routine and pattern, it's, it's time to leave. <laughs> I think it really, really helped having her with Dave and Jamie's birds. Um, I think that helped give her a lot of the confidence that she needed, that she was lacking. They're amazing. They're not only amazing trainers, they are, they're awesome people. Um, when I'm with them, I trust them 110%. I have no worries, no fears. I just... Right? Uh -huh. Amazing?